Hello, I'm Luke, but probably not the one that you were expecting. Now I'm sitting here on the 2nd of January 2014. I've just recorded Tmudwup episode 88, which from my point of view hasn't gone out yet but for you, you'll have been able to watch it for the past 10 years. Because if this all goes to plan, you'll be watching this on the 2nd of January, 2024. Yeah, a bit crazy, isn't it? In a few short months, I will be 30. Though the me that's uploading this to whatever passes for YouTube and the podcasting world in 2024 is approaching 40. That's a slightly scary thought. I'm not really going to make any predictions about what the world would be like, because if I think about my own life from 10 years ago, when I was approaching 20, I couldn't really have predicted any of this. I mean, at that point, I was maybe six or seven months away from visiting Russia for the first time, and I didn't know it. And uh, this podcast was, was several years off. We just had the scream of the Schalke. Um... Which, interesting enough, the me that's recording this now has just watched on DVD ten years after it came out. Man, this is getting confusing. And it was interesting to watch that, because that was the first time, really, on a DVD that they'd had a documentary about something that I remembered from ten years ago. I was alive. I went through that. I saw all that stuff happen to the internet. I hate to think what's happened to it in the intervening ten years. What are you all able to do? It'd be fantastic to see. I can only imagine. For me, it's just over a month since the 50th anniversary story, The Day of the Doctor, and a little over a week since the time of the Doctor, when Matt Smith said farewell. You're probably on the, I don't know, what, 14th or 15th Doctor by now? There's probably two or three executive producers come and gone. Well, that's if Doctor Who's still on the TV. Maybe it's not. It's quite possible that it isn't. Maybe you're in another wilderness years when Doctor Who's been taken off the air. Maybe it's being managed and rested, I don't know. And as I mentioned Scream of the Schalke before, maybe that's what Doctor Who is now. I feel that should Doctor Who ever go off the air again, it's much more likely to continue in that form this time round. And maybe there's an equivalent of Big Finish that's making animated Doctor Who adventures. And for them, Scream of the Schalke is, to them, what Doctor Who and the Pescatons is to Big Finish. Yes, for the younger viewers among you, you might want to ask Grandad what Doctor Who and the Pescatons was. Well, I'm burbling on. That's because I'm doing this whole thing without a script. Um, I have thought about what I was going to say, but it's all kind of, kind of happening on the fly. Let's me, let me talk about the DVD range. Um, I've finally replaced all my VHS tapes with DVDs. Hurrah! Again, younger viewers, ask Grandad what VHS tapes were. Um, and uh, the DVD range seems to be coming to an end. We've got uh, uh, we've got the Moonbase coming out. We've got the Northern Menace coming out. We've got the Web of Fear. Yes, those missing episodes have only just been recovered for me. Uh, I've seen the Web of Fear just for the second time recently, um, which is amazing. Less than a hundred Doctor Who missing episodes. But if rumours are to be believed, you, ten years from now, I don't know how many you'll have back, how many stories you'll have been able to appreciate. Uh, the current rumours are maybe Marco Polo, maybe The Massacre, I don't know. We'll see what 2014 has to offer. You, of course, know the answer to that. But I don't. It's an interesting prospect. So, what message can I leave for the podcasting and YouTubing world of the future? I won't mention any podcasts by name because I don't want to leave anybody out. I just hope that all of those that I listen to are still going in 10 years' time. I hope you're still inviting me on your shows to contribute as well. I hope that there are expressions of fan creativity and things that I can't imagine yet because technology isn't there yet. I hope that I'm still as keen a fan in 10 years' time. Well, I guess if I'm not, you probably won't be watching this because I won't upload it. No, I can't imagine that I wouldn't do that. To sit on this for 10 years and then not release it would be rather silly. 
Yes. Anyway, um, Happy New Year. Make 2024 a good one. And um, an older version of me will hopefully be seeing you soon. Thank you.